This is my wife and my rain barrel project. We took six uh, plastic barrels that we purchased from somebody off of Craigslist. These um, used to be used for, um, these were used for shipping olives and uh, we're going to repurpose, we repurpose them to uh, serve as rain barrels. We bought six of them and they were $15 a piece, like I said, from somebody off of Craigslist. Um, Typically, I'm finding them anywhere from $15 to $25 off of Craigslist with lids, uh, screw-on lids. Um, what we did was we purchased a, uh, a, uh, a circle cutter from uh, a company called Harbor Freight. Um, that was an adjustable circle cutter that uh, allowed us to cut the holes that we needed in these barrels. You can see these are inch and a half holes down on the bottom and this is a six inch hole at the top. What we did was to start off um, we assembled we assembled first uh, the lower part of the barrels. We had to cut the holes first in the bottom part of the barrels connect these PVC connectors uh, which we bought from Lowe's and uh, these are inch and a half connectors and we purchased this hosing material which is about two dollars a foot from a pool supply but these PVC connectors uh, these are slip connectors on one side which is just nothing more than uh, smooth on the inside so this material will slide up inside of here about an inch and a quarter and on the back side it's a threaded connector uh, that I used a uh, an electrical conduit uh, nut an inch and a half nut on the back side to uh, to hold it nice and tight we also used uh, some rubber washers which we couldn't find so I bought some rubber material from they come in square uh, about six by six or eight by eight uh, sheets about a dollar a piece you can get four of these out of each sheet my wife cut these out and you put one on the outside one on the inside use silicon uh, caulk to uh, seal everything up nicely and uh, we connected uh, afterwards we uh, connected them all uh, up on top of these concrete blocks uh, the concrete blocks allow us to add a little bit more uh, gravity um, pressure to the hose that comes out right here on the furthest one to the left and uh, we try to keep all these barrels nice and level so that uh, so that the water would uh, water tends to uh, level up between the barrels so we try to keep everything uh, level that way you know if it's here in this barrel it's typically going to be it's going to be the same place over here and the same place over here uh, all the way around as long as there's enough water to push up and pass through here um, we also, um, like I said, we cut a, we cut that six inch hole out of the top. We used a, uh, a basket that we purchased from, uh, a, um, pond supply, uh, place. And, um, it's just, all it is, it's a, uh, it's like a, uh, uh it's a water garden basket. And, uh, it's a six inch wide water garden basket. We used um, mosquito netting over top of it and uh, push it down into the hole. It'll be a nice uh, connection to keep all the mosquitoes out of it. Um, feeding down into that is uh, our gutter material or our uh, gutter extender uh, where we came, uh, where we, I cut about a, well, about a 12 to 16 inch slice out of my gutters. So we could connect this up in there. As you can see, I cut a hole on on the right side and on the left side, and just stuck a uh, piece of clothes hanger all the way through. The reason that will work is at the top there's a uh, there's a little basket that goes inside on the top side of the uh, the gutter assembly that keeps all the major debris out. There will be some debris that comes down into here. And this little basket right here will catch it, and we will um, we will empty that out, wash it out as uh, necessary. Um, it uh, catches water very quickly, 
and uh, we figure, well, they're 55 gallon barrels and it's uh, times six, so that's uh, quite a bit of water and um, should work pretty well. And that's our rain barrel project.